Welcome to the Sherlock Booking Screen training video. In this video, you will learn how to create bookings and use various features of the booking screen. When you receive a call from a customer and answer it, the incoming call window pop-up will be displayed. At the top of the screen, you will see the phone number you have been called from which Sherlock automatically identifies through integration with the company's telephony system and a list of profiles associated with this number. There can be several profiles in the list, such as a retail profile which is used when the customer makes a booking for personal use and a corporate profile which is used when the customer orders a taxi for business purposes. You should ask the customer which profile they want to use for the booking if there are several profiles linked to the phone number. Depending on the profile selected, you will see relevant information about the customer's recent bookings in that Active Jobs panel. At the top of the list, you will see bookings in progress, if any, and upcoming pre-bookings, followed by past bookings for the last 10 days. Depending on the booking status, various options are available. For instance, you can view details of the selected booking, monitor it on the controller screen, and check the current location of the driver on the map. At the bottom of the incoming call window, there is a suggested routes panel. If the customer wants to be picked up from one of the suggested addresses displayed, click the pick up button to create a booking with this address. For the same drop off, use the drop off button. If both pick up and drop off addresses requested by the customer are the same as suggested by the system, click the route button to create a similar booking. Alternatively, to create a booking with new addresses, Use the Book button highlighted in green next to the required profile to create the new booking. The booking screen consists of various panels with fields you will need to fill in to create a booking in the system. Please note that depending on your company's policy, the booking screen layout may differ slightly from the example shown in the video as the layout is configurable. Now let's take a look at each panel in more detail. If you have selected the retail profile, the customer panel is filled in automatically with the default account number used for retail customers and the phone number identified by the system. In the customer information panel, a customer grade is specified which determines the booking priority for allocation to be considered automatically by the system. In the notification settings panel, you will see all types of notifications which are applied by default to this customer account. If the customer doesn't want to receive emails, callbacks or text messages about the booking, you can disable them in this panel. Check the notes and alerts panel for any special notes relating to the caller, customer account, service selected or the important information displayed for all operators. The next panel is service details. It will be highlighted in grey which means that you need to complete it. Ask the customer what service they would prefer and select it from the drop down list. Then, you may need to change the number of passengers. Please note that for each service, the maximum number of passengers is indicated and this should not be exceeded. If the customer has luggage, you may also need to ask them for the number of bags to make sure passengers and luggage will fit in the car. The capacity is checked by the system automatically, if required. As soon as you have filled in the service details panel, go to the locations panel using your mouse or a keyboard shortcut. For your convenience, all shortcuts are specified next to the panel's name. In the Locations panel, you need to enter pickup and drop-off addresses. Start typing an address in the field. If not found, in the drop-down list, press Enter and select the address you need from the list of suggested addresses. If you need to change a stop type, which means to switch a pickup to a drop-off or vice versa, click the pickup and drop-off field next to the selected address. You can add a note to each stop specifying, for instance, a meeting point where a driver will be waiting for the passenger. You can also add and remove additional stops using the plus and minus icons, change the stop order using up and down arrows, swap pickup and drop-off addresses, change a town stop type to an airport, train station or ship terminal stop, and assign names to an address, for instance, home, work and others. In addition, there are special journey types which can be selected on the booking screen, if they are available for the selected service and account. As directed, it is used when the customer wants to rent a car with a driver for a certain period of time, for example, several hours of shopping. When you select this type of journey, you will see a hint 
with the minimum and maximum allowed time. A destination unknown journey means the drop-off is not known yet and the customer will tow the driver during the journey. Wait in return is a type of journey where the driver waits at the drop-off until the passenger returns to the car and drives him or her back to the pickup point. When you finish completing the locations panel, go to the date and time panel where you need to specify the booking date and time. Leave the ASAP checkbox ticked if the customer wants a taxi as soon as possible or clear the checkbox and select the required date and time if the customer wants to make a pre-booking. The next step is to ask the customer how they would like to pay for the journey. Go to the payment types panel, name the payment types available for this account and select the option preferred by the customer. In the discounts panel, check available discounts if any. In the system, discounts are linked to callers and they are pre-filled automatically. However, they can also be added manually in this panel using the plus icon. After that, you need to ask the customer whether there are any special preferences which should be added, such as needing a baby seat, and select them from the drop-down list in the additional information panel. The next step is to verify contact information for passengers in the contacts panel. If the job contact name field is empty, ask for the caller's name and fill in the field for the job contact next to the telephone field. By default, this field is pre-filled with the phone number identified automatically when the call was received. But if the customer wants to get notification sent to another number, you can change it manually in this field. If required, add other passengers using the plus icon and specify contact information for them. Finally, after you finish completing all the fields, you can check the totals panel and inform the customer about the estimated arrival time and booking price. If the customer agrees with the price and confirms that they want to make the booking, click the confirm button. A booking confirmation notification will be displayed on the screen. At the bottom of the booking screen, there are various options. For instance, you can see a route with addresses specified for the booking, quickly calculate the price for another booking, make changes to job details, cancel the confirmed booking, create a new booking for this account and repeat bookings. If you want to repeat the booking, click the repeat button and select an option which you want to use. Repeat copies the booking with all current job details. Repeat as contract copies the booking and creates a contract job for which you need to specify a schedule. Repeat as return creates a return journey swapping pickup and drop off addresses of the current booking. Finally, let's look at some options which you may find useful for your everyday work. To speed up booking creation, you can use keyboard shortcuts. To get the full list of available shortcuts, go to the main menu, Help and to System Shortcuts and download it. If the customer wants to be on time for a certain event but doesn't know what time they should book a taxi for, you can use the Pickup Time Calculator option in the Date and Time panel. For instance, if the customer needs to arrive at the train station at 12 o'clock to be on time for the train, you can specify the drop-off date and time in the calculator and the pickup time will be estimated automatically. Click Use to apply the calculated pickup time. If the customer wants to make several stops during the journey, you can optimise the route using different strategies. Click the Optimise button in the Locations panel and select an optimization strategy. The Distance option should be selected if you need to use the shortest route, Time for the quickest route, or Price for the route with the lowest possible price. After selecting the required strategy, click Optimise, then Use to apply updated route. Please note that for ASAP bookings there is a colour highlighting used for the arrival time displayed in the totals panel. If the arrival time is green, it means that a suitable driver has been found and you can see the actual arrival time calculated by the system for this booking. However, if the arrival time is yellow, it means that no driver has been found near the pickup or the actual arrival time is more than the standard one. In this case, use the magnifying glass button to see other available services. Inform the customer about all possible options and corresponding arrival time for each service. Ask the customer whether any mentioned service is suitable for them. And if the customer agrees to select one of the offered services, click the book button and make a booking with this service. Thank you for watching.